You have taken three years to probably finish up your nursery school. Taking another six years to finish up your primary school. Six years add to your secondary school. Now in your university, you are probably putting up four or five years, approximately five. NYSC plus six. When you are done with all this, you have actually devoted 22 years of your life to the pursuit of a degree. The degree that has enough copies in the secular world. If you are a biochemist, there are many biochemists waiting there that don't even have a job yet. And you will go and join them. And it's not anything special. Whether you shout, God forbid, the only thing that will differentiate you, the Bible says, thou anoints my head with oil, my cup began to respond. What? It's, it's, it's not about uh, uh, you know somebody that knows there are too many testimonies already to know that the arm of flesh will fail you. Woe is he that puts his trust in a man. I see them over and over again. I learned to remove my trust in strength and in the promises of men. When I saw the first class student of my department that they promised that they would retain him, the guy gave his all he read if there is any summary of his years in school was that he read <laughs> nothing else though. just call his name he will just say and Beatrice read this, he, he read he developed some eye defect on account of the constant exposure to light as light hits the white pages and it hits his eyes but that was a sacrifice he was willing to pay in order to meet up with the demand that they said if you can graduate with a first class you'll be retained and then he sent me a text a couple of months back he's in a fix please can I help and help him settle house rent and I said I, I thought they, they retained you said they didn't call him once again after graduation and he went back to remind them went back to tell let me share something with you make sure make sure make sure i'm repeating this make sure that the area where you have put your strength on is not anything outside god make sure quickly before you leave this space or there's a root shock waiting for you out there you see if oh, oh, ah, ah, no 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 somebody is misunderstanding me just in case you think that I'm trying to undermine the place of academic preparation. I graduated with a 2-1. My MSc is top-notch. First class. So, <laughs> I, have, I have given my best too to it. That, this one I said is to tell that person who is thinking that maybe it's because I, I, I failed. <laughs> Make sure quick oh, is, is one of the it's one of the best things that will happen to you. Find your way inside school first before you go out. Nobody prepares for war inside war. Take time now and begin to know. I will not go and join the bandwagon of confused people out there. There is a frustration that will hit anybody who does not find an advantage for himself. And your advantage will be among something in God that you will find. You may not find everything about God. But that one that he reveals to you, hold it, hold it very well and use it as a charm. If it's the favor of God, you know, carry that favor into the labor markets. If it is the power of God that you, you have, carry power to job interviews because everybody will come with something. You see, the challenge right now is that there's no free space again. So the only thing, the Bible says, the gift of a man will make room. There, there was no room but the gift opened a space for him. So, if it means ah, that, the, that the HOD lied to him. In fact, as soon as he graduated, they just, they just began to, I, I mean, play tricks with him and all that. What were you thinking? That people who didn't graduate with first class will allow you to come and be part of them with their, with their threats and their fear? As you are reading, as you are adding value academically, 
<laughs> make sure you are building something as you, with your spiritual statue too. Because one day you can show up as an academic giant and in the realm that matters, you are a dwarf. And a man will come with third class with his supports. It was a bank job interview that I'm trying to give you a small narrative about in Abuja. We were inside the, re the reception waiting to be called one by one and they called a brother. He got up and tried to adjust himself quickly to look smart and a charm fell from his belt side. And when the charm just hit the ground and some of us that saw it, we knew that this is not our job. All we came with was a certificate. Somebody came with the support of a realm. Somebody came with powers around him, knowing fully well that certificate alone is not enough. Mind you, you might finish all your four, five years and, and you think you have worked hard. At least it's fair to rest now. Then you will hear very funny stories of people who they say is even the best student in the class. Finished and was going home and had accident and died. And all this labor wasted. 